<laughs> Today we're going to do eyes, ears, nose, and mouth and throat. Um, we're starting with the eyes, and then we're going to work our way down into the you know, down the head. So for eyes, the very first thing we want to um, assess is visual acuity. We already used one of these little cards when we did neuro last or two weeks ago. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to use the big Snellen chart. So come with me. All right, so what we're going to do with this Snellen eye chart is we're going to measure the patient's visual acuity. Now you can do one eye followed by the other eye. You can do it with contacts, without contacts, with glasses, without glasses. For our purposes, we're going to do what's called corrected vision which means if they wear glasses or contact lenses, we're going to keep them on. So, and we're going to do both eyes at the same time. So what I want you to do um, is I want you to read the, low, the smallest line that you can read. L-E-F-O-D-P-C-T. L-E-F-O-D-P-C-T. So we look to the side, that's 2015. Now, what is average vision? 2020. Now, what does the first 20 mean? How far back is our patient standing? 20. 20 feet. So 2020, the first 20 says the patient stands at 20 feet. And then the second number, the bottom number, is what, the, what other people read. So other people had to come up to 15 feet to read what she sees at 20. So is her vision better or is it worse? Better. Good. I waited for you to answer that. So um, when you do this, always, always, always remember, the first 20 is the patient stands at 20 feet. The other number is what other people see. So for instance, if she could only read this line right here, FP, you look at it, it's 20, 100. So what that means is up, she read at 20 feet what other people could read at 100 feet. That would mean her eyes are worse than other people. So the bigger the bottom number, the worse off your patient is. The smaller the number, the better off they are. 